What is going on guys, Chaz here. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade an iPhone 4S or iPad 2nd generation to iOS 8.4.1. I believe you can do this on other 32-bit devices such as the iPhone 5, but this video is dedicated to doing it on the iPhone 4S and other devices with that iPhone processor. And I'm sure you can do this on the iPhone 5. I even believe there's a more simple way of doing it on the 5, which simply involves like installing one app or something which will provide an automated downgrade process but in this case guys this video is going to be dedicated to the iPhone 4s and other devices with its processor and much as I'm sure this method will work on the 5 I'm pretty sure it won't work on the 5c because that launched with iOS 7 I know a device has to be compatible with iOS 6 and has to have had run iOS 6 at some point in its lifetime for this method to be able to work Anyways guys, let's jump into today's video. So guys, first of all, your iPhone does have to be jailbroken. You don't need to have it jailbroken permanently, just for the downgrade process. After that, you don't have to be jailbroken at all, but you can jailbreak easily using the jailbreak function in free u tools on a pc or a mac and then once you load into Cydia and search for the files or file manager install it and so guys once you've opened files are go to system library core services and scroll down and find system version dot plist. Now expand it and for product version change it to six point zero. And for product build version change it to ten A. 403 so guys once you've done that save and done and then well reboot your device Now guys, when you first boot up your device after this, you'll get this screen which just says slide to upgrade, so slide to upgrade. And as you guys can see, iOS now thinks it's installing the update to iOS 6.0. Because that is the iOS version, we're going to be spoofing because then you'll be able to OTA update to iOS 8.4.1 from that. And all apps will start thinking you're running iOS 6.0. So basically, this is just so you can upgrade to iOS 8.4.1 and then factory reset the device. But as you guys can see, it's just loading now. Now guys, as you can see, iOS 9 is now loaded, although it will think it's iOS 6. Now, go into Settings, General, Software Update, and it will check for a software update. If you're signed into iCloud, now's the time to sign out, otherwise for some reason it will prevent the update process from going through. So as you guys can see, even though I'm on iOS 9, the software updater thinks I'm on iOS 6 and is not offering me an OTA update to iOS 9 or saying I'm up to date, but it's rather simply saying that I can update to iOS 8.4.1. So let's download and install. Now as you guys can see, iOS 8.4.1 will now start to install. So guys... I'm just going to plug in this iPhone to make sure it has a good update process. So 
so now the, my iPhone is plugged in and guys you obviously won't want to sit through the entire downloading and installation of iOS 8 so I'm going to be seeing you guys in a bit So guys, as you can see, I've now updated, in inverted commas, to iOS 8. But as you guys can see, there are quite a few stability issues, such as the wallpaper appears to be black and everything. So guys, for the best stability, I'm actually going to be factory resetting. So, let's go into general, reset, erase all content and settings. A raise iPhone, a raise iPhone. So guys, as you can now see, my iPhone 4S is now running iOS 8.4.1. I have successfully downgraded using the OTA method, and it's going to be running much better than 8 from the 9.3.5 because it's a lot well more optimized. So guys, this method will work on all iPhone 4S's, I believe even on the 8GB variants, even though there won't be much storage space to store apps on those variants. And guys, from there, I can install the tvOS 12 beta profile, so I can block OTA updates. So guys, this will basically trick iOS into thinking I'm up to date. So guys, I, got, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you downgrade your iPhone. 4s to ios 8.4.1 anyways guys if you enjoyed remember to leave a like subscribe and turn on those notifications it would it would really make me feel supported anyways thanks for watching see you next time and goodbye